Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. So today I wanted to share with you this little project that I did, um, making little book page, little paper bags or pouches, um, very similar to the uh, clear pouches that I did, only this time I'm using book pages. So I will show you uh, how I, I will show you some of these ones that I made just to give you some inspiration and then I will share with you exact steps, steps um, and a really simple and quick tutorial on how you can make these yourself at home too. So um, the idea came to me because I find that a lot of us are left with these books um, after we dig got the books and we use the covers for our projects and journals and things like that we're left with this and we don't want to throw it out because look at all these beautiful paper um, and there's only so many book pages we can add to our journals so there's plenty of projects we can do with them this certainly is not an original idea it's been done before but this is just how i did it and just to let you know oh there's a glitch I don't know what happened there okay so just to let you know um i used a, a book and i pretty much used nearly the whole book for this project um i got this for free from an op shop they were throwing the books away so i don't feel bad about ruining these books because it was going into the rubbish anyway and then i'm giving it second life really and then um i've got this beautiful cover to do something with after i'm finished so all right so let's have a look i did some of the envelopes i did little um clusters like this and then added a little you know things that say thankful grateful or this one says life is beautiful and then this one i did um, fabric upholstery and then this is actually a tea bag after i do my tea dyeing I don't throw out the tea bags I keep them everything dries I get rid of the tea leaves some I keep because I use that in my project too I'll show you how um, and then yeah this is just a little tea bag sewn on and that's uh, calico or muslin that's been stamped on so um, once you start making the ideas will just come to you because there's so much you can do and then these are um, what's it called a cluster says wonder here so if you look at I mean I've I've done a whole heap of these clusters let's take this one for example when you look at it like this it's really it's just some papers put together assembled together and then I add a little something like like this one see here live in the moment so when you look at it like this it's nothing special but then on a project like this once it's sewn around and embellished you know when you have a focal piece it just looks beautiful doesn't it so um that's a way of the, the way that i use up all of my little bits and pieces of leftover paper so okay let's keep going so these ones that i've showed you they were all little clusters and then these ones here have little envelopes at the front oh not envelopes pockets at the front the pocket has a pocket um, this one has a sheer beautiful sheer um, lace pocket at the front and then this one's got this black one here and then this one is really interesting um, this one has a clear window at the front so this one was really fun to make and what I used for the clear window you want to do um, use um, acetate that's quite thick and sturdy so you don't want any flimsy little plastic what I use for that is um, this book that I showed you before actually it's from the library and most of the library books have these protective pockets on them and I save all of them as well so um, and I use for this sort of stuff too so okay there's that one and then I did some with I'll show you these ones here stamping so i was just using my stamps and then this one's got a little dangly here little butterfly little dangly and then some lace up the top it, they look so nice i mean and so simple like some i've just left really simple like this one so as i was progressing in my project this kind of got a more and more beautiful that's usually what happens right the first one that i made this is just a fussy cut image from a book the first one that I made had nothing on it. It was just a little book. There was nothing at the front. So, and then I was like, what else I can, can I do with this? So I started adding little stickers and something like this and um, little 
all different sort of bits and pieces. This is sheer uh, lace and this is sheer fabric. So that's nice when you can see the writing from behind. Um, and all of the embellishing and fabrics and pockets and stuff is only done on this one piece, not at the back. And then this one, this is a little cluster of four different fabrics. So one here and then we've got a lace here and then this calico that's been stamped on and this little um, piece of fabric here. So really simple little collage at the front of this book bag. And then some more of these clusters. This one says grateful for you. This one. And then this one with the little ruffles here. So I will put these in my Etsy shop. Um, if you know what somebody doesn't sew and wants to have them. Um, but now I'm going to show you exactly how I made them. It's really, really simple project. And I've written down the steps and I'm going to talk about just some of the things you have to keep in mind. When I chose my book, I chose this book because it's long this way, which means that, that the bag will be longer, right? As opposed to this book, which is short. So um, once I flap this, let's just see for them. Oh, um, once I pop this down like this, it will be a shorter um, little bag than than this one like this one's got a longer flap I hope I'm making sense so that's one of the things I sort of looked for I wanted a longer book but it doesn't matter if you don't have it you can still make little bags they'll just be a tiny little bit smaller okay so you need four sheets of book pages when I was choosing my book pages I'll just show you I was looking for and I really like that other book I was looking for pages that have a lot of let uh, have like block writing there's no dialogue and it's just a full page of just words and this book was so good because there, there's a little bit of dialogue here I mean it doesn't you can see a difference it doesn't really matter but I prefer the ones where there's just block you can see here it's all writing there's no dialogue and then here as well so that's one of the things I was looking for this book this is a reader's digest book it looks like it's got a lot of dialogue and broken you know and there's empty spaces it doesn't matter like I said but when I was making mine I was looking at that sort of thing and I didn't want to have this chapter 12 or you know chapters anywhere either so that was one of the things I was I kept in mind not necess not necessarily has to be done my way but okay so you've got your four sheets of paper next thing you do is you use a glue glue stick that's not going to warp your paper this is just to temporarily hold before you sew so you don't have to go to the edges or anything you just want it to be held in place um, as you're assembling and you're taking it to your sewing machine that's all that's the, that's the sole purpose of this glue stick and I use my glue stick in general just as a temporary hold because they're not very uh, good at holding things over time okay so it's important that you test your glue stick first like for example this one warps the paper so I wouldn't use one that warps the paper so once you have glued this down you want to take one of your pages and trim it down a little bit sh shorter so that will be your short page so just like that and then you check you only do the first one and then you can say so this one will give me a little bit of a shorter flap so I probably want I like to have a bit of a longer flap so let's do this and then you can see sort of how it's gonna look yeah perfect like that okay so you've trimmed that down now the next step that you do is you sew the top of the short page now you want to sew this down because as you are opening your bag you can see here how it's sewn at the top if you don't sew that part the two papers are going to come apart here so that's why it's important and you do that first just to make it easier you sew the top of the short page and then you embellish it so if you want to add a cluster if you want to sew it on 
uh, around the sides you want to do that in this step you can't do it once it's on top of here already and sewn down you can't sew through it because then you won't be able to open your bag so you first sew the top you embellish it and then you paper clip it together so I've done one here so you can see sewn up the top embellished that's sewn onto it and then the next thing you do is you paper clip it together okay and then what you do I've already done this here because I've, I've already filmed all of this and it was a fail so I made a mistake so <clears throat> next thing you do is you trim these down so I've already done that but let's say if you're doing this one pretend that's already sewn and then you trim it down just like that I don't measure anything it's just didn't do a very good job here it's wonky but you know try and like I don't measure it but I try and make it <laughs> straight usually okay that's it all right that's what that step is after you've cut the top flaps flap edges you sew around the whole thing so I've clipped it together so that it's not moving and not going anywhere and when I go to my sewing machine I start from this corner it's just the way that I do it so that my little knot thing is here in the right hand side corner you can start wherever you want I didn't want to do the flap because I didn't want to visible here so then I just sew all the way this way then I go up this way all in one go around 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 down I do a bit of a back stitch come back down and then that's it and then I also tie a little knot at the end and snip the little uh, bits off and then that's it last step is to look at your little piece of work and admire it and that's it really um, really simple and really really beautiful uh, looking project so I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any suggestions um, you know if you have any questions or whatever um, pop them down in the comment section thank you so much for watching i hope you uh, are going to make some of yours and i'll see you in my next video bye